we are now third in the nation in job growth and about 40% of that is due to the gas industry. If legislation is enacted that goes against the industry or is unfriendly to the industry, there are other places that the industry can go. It's just been fantastic to stay close to my family. That's the highest agenda when you talk about these companies, it's safety. It's nice to have an abundant natural resource for manufacturing. It, it levels the playing field. Well, I think the Marcel Shell has impacted Pennsylvania more than people really realize. Prior to the Marcellus Shell arriving, we had around 10 to 12 cranes. Currently today we're uh, pushing 30 cranes. We've added probably 30 trailers. We've added 40 water trucks. Uh, we've added probably 40 pickup trucks. And the trickle down process of that has been tremendous. It's not just the producers, it's the suppliers. It's the suppliers to the suppliers. I mean, there's just so much opportunity out there. So much growth that, is, that has happened, especially in the very depressed areas. Two to three years ago, we had the largest increase, the sixth largest increase in wages in the nation, percentage increase in wages. And just a few months ago, uh, we were ranked the sixth best performing small city in America. The best person to tell the story is the small business owner who can tell you, I was about to close my business before the Marcellus Shell picked up. I was about to have to let go of employees. Now I've tripled my staff. So really the story and the powerful impact it's had should be told through the eyes of those people. I've gone from one store to uh, five stores in, in a matter of just seven years. The gas stations uh, the grocery stores, everyone's prospering from this that may not even own property, but they sell to the people that are drilling for gas. You know, Pennsylvania is so blessed to have rich natural resources, and we've had them for years, but now with the gas that we're able to extract, you know, this is opening up a new opportunity, and if we can bring more attention uh, to the opportunities that we have, I think it's our responsibility to do so. We get the, the lower energy costs, the raw materials here, and we get a balance with trade as far as what our labor costs are with other countries. I mean, we're, we're poised for a new industrial revolution. At this point in time, I could not imagine what Pennsylvania would be like without shale. The number of jobs that we have seen, not just in my company, but around the state, the impact with the money that has been brought in for jobs, for improvements um, from industry, from people coming outside of the area and setting down their lives and building houses and all the development that is occurring, I couldn't imagine where we would be at as a state without that. We've got landowners that have been you know, gracious enough to allow us to go in and extract their oil and gas. And a lot of people forget that. It's their oil and gas that we're permitted to extract. And through the technology and through our investors to be able to come in here and actually rebuild Pennsylvania. Since the Marcelluses came, we paid for my daughter's wedding. Uh, we paid for my son's college. Um, we bought uh, three or four pieces of new equipment. Uh, I, I built this barn, um, it's made life a whole lot easier. The small service companies in this area, I believe, have really, really benefited. Anything from uh, the small grocery stores, to the leather shops, to the gas stations. Life around here uh, prior to the Merselle Shale was living basically milk check to milk check. I've seen the gas companies themselves do a lot of things for the youth in the way of uh, the premiums at the county fairs. Uh, one company spent $30,000 and put a new computer lab in one of our high schools. Uh, these have been a real positive impact. And these companies make this their home. It was always very difficult to get a job in Pennsylvania. Um, when this came along, it's one of the few times, well, actually the first time I've ever told my family that it didn't look we'd, like we'd have to leave the state. Our two children work with us in the business. The business has expanded enough that we can afford to pay them a good salary now and along with the other employees are getting all uh, good salaries again because we, we have the volume of business there and the opportunity. The development of shale gas in Pennsylvania has 
had a, a tremendous benefit to our family. Uh, my wife is an engineer who took some time off to raise our three children and uh, it's really allowed her to come right back into the workforce and she's employed by an oil and gas company here in Pittsburgh working full-time. She loves the job, they love her. So uh, without shale gas, I don't know if that would have been possible. I do think there is a lot of excitement in the community. I, you know, I know as, as Williamsport grows and as people um, increase their incomes a little bit and there's some excitement about what people are making on their, you know, their land leases and that, there has been a lot of excitement in the community with the growth. It's allowed uh, our daughter Kara and her husband Garrett to stay in the area. Everything we do is on the environmental side. The containments we're constructing in the field are specifically designed to protect the environment against any spills or pollution or anything of that sort. We pay attention to a lot more of the safety side of it than we ever did before. And I think they do a great job and it keeps everyone safe and it keeps the environment safe as well. I think people are starting to understand that this has had a positive economic impact and that we are a community and a people that care greatly about our environment and we're not going to let anybody destroy our environment. It's a big part of what Williamsport and Lycoming County is. In the last 25 years, young forest growth has declined by 30 percent. That has a big impact on species that require young forest habitat in order to grow and to thrive. When you open it up with, because of drilling activity or pipelines and things like that, that gets light on the forest floor and what that does then is that starts that whole succession process going again. We obviously want to protect the environment, uh, you know, number one. Uh, what, what, you know, without that, we have nothing. Um, but at the same time, I think we, got, we can't make it so restrictive that these companies can't come in here and do business. We have our current state administration uh, where there is no actual tax on the excavating of the uh, natural gas and some of the candidates or practically all the candidates to opposing coming this year want to impose a 10% tax. And I can't see that that's going to do anything but cripple the, uh, the development in the area. If we continue to, to push and tax and legislate and throw out uh, barriers for these companies, th they're just going to go to the path of least resistance. I think we need our own energy policy and we need to be independent of uh, foreign countries for our energy. And we can be there. It's just a matter of getting the right minds in the right place. I understand that we have to pay our fair share, but uh, they're taxing all of the individuals that receive royalty money. Uh, they're all paying income tax on that, and to me that would seem like enough to, to take care of it. What bothers me most is to see that, that people think that uh, there's been some kind of deal struck with the, with the Pennsylvania gov government so that uh, we can willy-nilly develop natural gas in Pennsylvania without any consideration to the economic and environmental impacts associated with that. I would say five to ten years from now is still going to be just booming. I think there's a lot of areas that we haven't got to. There's a lot more infrastructure that needs to be built. I think the industry is just continuing their commitment to improving their best management practices and improving you know their protection of the environment so I think this is just going to keep growing. You know within the next seven to ten years I mean we're going to continue to grow and continue to put more and more infrastructure in the ground to to get the product to where it needs to be. For the last couple of generations a lot of people have left the area because there weren't any jobs. Today there's jobs. You know um, there's all different types of jobs today. There's jobs in the dirt and there's jobs in the office. So it, it presents a, a great opportunity to be in Williamsport today. In the next five to 10 years, this is definitely gonna be a very hot area for, for the energy industry. When we're not energy independent and we rely on other nations, we're really putting America at risk. We're making America vulnerable. Well, how can you not like an energy independent United States? Uh, it really seems like a no brainer.